Hello, crew. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> That's hilarious. Did you see that layer of dust on there? I'm not quite sure where that came from. Is that like that every day? And I've just only noticed it, guys. That's shocking. I don't know how that happened. Let's just clean that up a little bit. How is everybody today? I've got a question for you today. How often do you judge yourself? Do you judge yourself often? Do you judge others? Really important question, guys. And I'll share with you why that's a really important question. Has that ever been that shiny before? <laughs> I don't know. One day I'm going to get a proper hat that actually fits. No, you know what I'm going to do? What I want to do, guys, I've thought about this for a while, but I still haven't, I still haven't done anything about it. I want to get an online crew hat, like instead of a captain's hat. I want to have stuff that um, has got online crew written on it, like, just stuff, like even T-shirts that say online crew. I'm going to do it, guys, one day. <laughs> I am. Anyway, um, back to topic. Do you find yourself often judging yourself or others? Do you make assumptions sometimes about people when you know perhaps that you shouldn't? Like is that something that you do? If you say you don't, I'm probably hard to believe because I think at one stage or another we all do judge ourselves and tend to judge others. But I want to have a conversation about this today. The reason that I want to have a conversation about this, I reckon this is bent now. What the hell has happened to this? Anyway, the reason that I want to have a conversation about this uh, because judgment is a really important topic and my first live of the week, which is now, um, is something to do with personal growth, personal development because um, skills, Facebook ads, funnels, groups, all those kind of things. That's not what makes you successful. You are what makes you successful. So it's who you are. It's the way you carry yourself. It's how positive you are or negative. Um, you know, how you carry yourself through life and how you think dictates your success. So I like to talk about um, topics on this particular live at the beginning of the week is something just to make you think, something to help you be a better version of you, okay? Who gave me a sad face? Janine, why did you give me a sad face? I find normally people hit the angry face or the sad face by accident, um, but all good. I hope you're okay, Janine. Um, so if we have not met before, my name is Helen Martin. I'm your online crew captain. Now, all this means is that I'm a service to you guys. I turn up here five days a week and give you free training to help you build your businesses online. So if you're an entrepreneur, home-based business owner, direct seller, um, you know, that kind of business model, what we talk about here most of the time is skills and strategies to help you build your business online with modern modern strategies, okay? So if that's what you are looking to do, you are in the right place. A couple of reminders before we get into the topic. My next round of Build Your Brand um, starts today. I'm working with people for a month um, on their brand, developing their brand. Um, we're talking about content and engagement and how to draw people to the page and your branding message and all that kind of stuff. So, 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 so important, particularly because Facebook is cracking down more so on people trying to build their business on their personal profiles. So um, it's not too late. You could join today with, is the cutoff, um, but that link is above. If you want to join us, it's not too late. And the special offer to join my coaching community and get over $7,000 worth of practical social media training, um, you know, from content creation to business pages to organic growth to paid ads to bots to email marketing to landing pages to whatever it is that you need to know on social media, Instagram even. Um, you can get access to all that training immediately um, if you join before the end of January. Okay, so uh, all those details are in the description um, above. Now, I'll get on to the judgment piece in a minute. I just want to see who's here with us. Hello, Gloria. How are you today? Good to see you on. We've got Mel Reed. How are you? Love the new members area of your website. Access today. So long awaiting. Uh, well, two things I want to share. One, I'm just going to digress for a second. I've just had a three-hour call with the people in my VIP mentorship program. And I just want to say to those people, you are freaking amazing. And I love you guys and the work that you're doing and the progress that we make together. Just uh, love those calls. So shout out to the VIPs. 
I work with them for a year to help them build their businesses. Uh, the second thing is those in our online crew coaching community, the email has gone out um, regarding the new members login area. So you get your own login and all the boot camps, all the training is all there. So you should have your emails, check your email. There may be some technical difficulties. It's been a long time coming. Uh, but thank you, Mel. Appreciate the feedback there. Um, I judge myself continuously. You wouldn't be alone there. Um, hey, Gloria, good to see you here. Online merch. Absolutely, Janet. I'm going to do it. Hello, Beth. How are you? I'll be honest. Of course, I judge myself. <laughs> Love your honesty. Hi, Mike. How are you? Daily and I'm hard on myself. Mm, interesting. I think a lot of people are, unfortunately. Unfortunately, yes. Especially myself, I do judge others as well, mainly with first impressions. Yeah, I think um, that's quite a common thing, judging on first impressions. But it's like, oh, I'll get onto it in a minute. Just hold that thought. Hello, Gina. How are you? Good to see you on. We've got Clarita as well. Hello, Hero. Janine, that was an accident. <laughs> I gathered that, Janine. <laughs> How are you? Hello, Wayne. Got my email. Did you get access? Okay. Hello, Deb. Uh, the video is tripping. Is it just on my screen? I'm not sure. Is it is it uh, tripping or freezing for anybody else or is it just um, hero? Um, so back to the judgment piece. The thing to understand about judgment is it is actually impossible if you know you judge yourself to not judge others. So we're all human, we all do it. So don't take this as a scolding in any way, but there, there's just some lessons to learn to this and how we can prove it. If you judge yourself, you actually do judge others. So not rocket science, but it, you might say to yourself, oh, I, I, I try not to judge other people. But if you're very judging of yourself, if you're very critical of yourself, it, um, you know, if you're very hard on yourself, and, and most of us will be, then you're probably that way to many um, many aspects on other people, which it wouldn't be unique to any of us. I'm sure we've got all sort of traits of this. But here's the thing with judgment, guys. Judgment only leads to negativity. So if the judgment's on yourself, you're usually judging yourself. It's in a negative way. It prompts negative thoughts negative thoughts then equate to negative actions which get negative results you know how that works I've talked about it many times everything starts with the way you think you wake up in the morning you get to choose am I going to think positive or negative you're in the driver's seat with the way that you think but when you judge you judge yourself it's normally negative is it not you're judging yourself and not you know, not doing something or something that you feel that you are about yourself, which means you're probably quite judgmental of others. Now, that's where we need to sort of pull ourselves up and try to lose judgment of ourselves and of others because it's actually really harmful. You can actually hurt other people's feelings even when you don't want to. And we've got to realise we don't know the whole story for anybody in any situation on you know, from any walk of life. Even something like, you know, I'll give you an example. You might see somebody who's walking down the street, they're really, really overweight. Maybe they're obese and they've got a McDonald's in their hand. If you saw that person and they got a McDonald's and a Coke and a packet of chips under their arm and something like that, and you saw that person, would it not be reasonable to think, they probably really don't need that. Like you probably go into judgment. What we don't know with somebody like that is what's caused that kind of habit, what's caused that obesity. And there may be some major emotional trauma baggage underneath that all. We have no idea. We have no idea what people have gone through in their life. Somebody may turn up all happy and um, wonderful on social media, but you've really got no idea about that person's life if you don't know them, okay? So judging somebody for things is, it can be very unfair, it can be very hurtful, but for the most part, what's really important to remember, judgment doesn't equate to anything positive for you or for other people. 
And if you judge you, you probably judge other people. And that's a really unhealthy thing to do, although it's kind of human behavior. Does that make sense? So what I want to share with you is how do we break the cycle? Because it's probably something we all do. We're often very harsh on ourselves, very critical of ourselves. Would that be fair to say that you, you're, you're that way about yourself sometimes? And if you've got those traits and if you do judge, then you probably judge um, uh, other people unfairly. It doesn't mean you're not a good person. It doesn't mean you're not a nice person. But when we're judging, you really want to recognise it because it's not a positive thing for anybody to sort of have in their life. So here's what I recommend you do with it. So I'm just raising your level of awareness around judgment because judgment of yourself of others is not something that you, you really want to have in your life. You want to turn judgment into evaluation, okay? So instead of judgment and making an assumption about somebody or something or what you think somebody is doing or not doing is turn it into evaluation. And remind yourself of things like, I don't know the whole story. Um, maybe there's something going on I don't know about. Maybe they're having a really bad day and I didn't realise. Like turn it into evaluating the situation rather than judging. Does that make sense? So if we, what we want to do in life is continually evalu evaluate, evaluate yourself, where you're at, your results in your business, instead of getting into feelings. Judgment is a feeling that turns into negative things. So we just want to, where we can, try to remove judgment from our life. You probably won't get rid of it altogether, but it's actually a really unhealthy thing to do. So if we want to try to be a better version of ourselves, let's try to recognize judgment when we're doing it. So when you're thinking, um, you know, that you think you know something about somebody or you've said something about somebody but you really don't know, recognize that and shift your thoughts into evaluation and actually sort of share with your own mind, I actually really know very little about what happens in their life behind closed doors. I don't know how they were brought up. I don't know what trauma they had as a child. Like you have to actually bring it into an evaluative state. Does that make sense? So when we get all emotional, we say things we shouldn't say. We sometimes hurt people when we don't mean to. Um, being ruled by emotions <laughs> is not a healthy thing sometimes. So we want to get out of emotion and into evaluation, and that's the same with judgment. So get rid of judgments. If you if you feel yourself judging other people, take a step back and go, look, I really know nothing about that person. I've got no no right to judge. And just try to slowly get judgment out of your life because it is not a healthy thing for you or others, okay? So recognizing it one th is one thing, but then actually turning that around and going from judgment to evaluation and actually turning your own thoughts around to get rid of the negativity because negative thoughts actually relates to negative words. Negative words relate to negative actions and nothing, nothing good comes from that. So um, I just want to highlight this because um, you probably all do it. Um, I I'm not immune to doing it. I judge myself. I would judge others. But here's what is important with anything to do with these kind of things and being happy and being a, a good, thoughtful person and giving people the benefit of the doubt and stuff like that. You're never going to be an amazing person. Oh, oh that came out wrong. You're never not going to be 100% positive, happy, um, you know, amazing, never have a bad word in your life. Like you, you, that person doesn't really exist. My goal for you, and this is why I say it over and over again, it, there's nothing wrong with having a down moment. There's nothing wrong with being sad. There's nothing wrong with being angry. There's nothing wrong with being pissed off. There's nothing wrong with lashing out for a little bit of time, maybe. You, you might actually act on instinct and say something you shouldn't or, you know, you're angry or something like that, but just don't let it last. The best thing you can do for yourself to become a better version of you is to let go of things really quickly. Okay, somebody said something to you that you don't like, have your little moment, get over it, move on. You don't want to hang on to things, things like judgment. Oh, well, they blah, 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 come to an assumption about something. It's like, oh, I really don't want to think like that. I'm actually, you know, making an assumption here and I don't really know. So you turn it around. 
Does that make sense? The best thing, the best muscle that you can build in your brain, we're just talking about building brain muscle in the VIP, so that's why it's on my head, is to recognise that you're never going to be 100% positive and that's okay. Just shift your thoughts as quickly as you possibly can. Give people the benefit of the doubt. Don't make any assumptions about people. Don't judge people. Always come from a place of love or understanding or empathy because judgment, I'll say it again, is negative all round. You judge yourself. It's not a positive thing that you're thinking about yourself. You judge others. That's not positive either. And remember what negative thoughts do. Negative thoughts create negative words. Negative words create negative actions. Negative actions are not going to get you where you want to go. So it's just a matter of having a really high level of awareness of things like judgment and when you recognize that you're doing it to yourself or to others, just catch it. Catch it and change it and turn it around. So you're not judging somebody for half an hour, you're judging someone for 30 seconds. Does that make sense to you guys? That's what we want to try to achieve in just, um, you know, turning things around really quickly. It doesn't mean you're going to be the most, uh, you know, positive person on the planet, but if you can shift your thoughts really quickly, it doesn't last long. The negativity doesn't last long. I just want to see what you guys are sharing. Oh, the website. Hayley, yep, got the website. Love it. Shows me the boot camps that I've missed. Looking forward to learning, learning, learning. I'm glad you love the website. Um, oh, it's just Hero that was the video. Haven't got my email yet. So um, I can probably look that up for you, Gina. And I'll talk more about that in the coaching community on tomorrow. So remember, guys, come out again. Those of you in the coaching community, there are two live Q&A Zoom calls in there for you to ask me anything you want about building your businesses online or something that you're struggling with. And I'm catering for people in different time zones. So the first one's tomorrow, 45 minutes after my normal live. Um, for those in US, Canada type, type zone, Australia, that would work well. But I'm doing one the next day. Uh, Thursday, for those in um, UK, Germany, uh, so that would be a better time frame for you guys. So make sure you jump on that because I'm doing a bit of training as well as the live Q&A Zoom call and we can work out who's missing their email. Janet, oh, wow, I'm hard on myself, but I didn't realise that would have an effect on how I acted towards other others. So point in case, again, if you judge yourself, you absolutely definitely judge others even though you think you don't. It's impossible to judge yourself and not judge others. So it is something to have a high level of awareness about and shift really quickly. Uh, Jeff, definitely hard on myself. Yes, Gloria, how about we just mind our own business and forget what others look like? Well, <laughs> if you're not, if you, uh, well, then that wouldn't be any judgment because you're not really talking about anybody else. So there is a point to that, Gloria. If we just mind our own business and not make judgments, then that won't even enter the equation. So that's one way to look at it. Absolutely. Hey, Susan, how are you? Uh, Susan's one of our amazing VIPs that was just on that call a moment ago. Hello, Heather. Good to see you on. Tripping didn't stop on my phone, so I'm watching it on my laptop now. Okay, so hopefully it's all good for you now. Hello, Yvette. Lovely to see you here. I'm so glad you told us about that a year or so ago. Give yourself 24 hours and that's it. That's valuable. For those of you that don't know what Susan is sharing there, this was a strategy that I learned from John Maxwell in his book, which is just over there. I've held it up many a times called, what's it called? Uh, intentional Living. That's what it's called. Um, you know, when, when something's not going right, when you're really angry, you're really pissed off, even um, just some kind of motion that's not necessarily positive, um, do what you need to do to deal with it, but don't let it last any, any longer than 24 hours. It doesn't mean you're not necessarily going to feel emotions around it, but take more responsibility for it after 24 hours. You don't want to wallow in, um, you know, negativity, um, you, you know, things like that for any longer than 20, 24 hours. Makes total sense. So true. Great reminder. Thank you. Makes sense. Good. You'll be on the Zoom tomorrow. Awesome. I have my email. Can't wait to see it. So you guys can can check that out. Um, you know, in in a moment. So 
What that email is about, if you're a bit confused, is those in my coaching community, which the special office offer is there until the end of January, I've just created a members only login area from my website. So it's only for members of the coaching community. So you can log in and you've got your own special members area where all those boot camps that I've ever done and recordings of the live Q&A Zoom calls and all the special other little training videos that I do, they're all in the one area in a members um, members only login area. Um, so it's it's a long time coming, I'll tell you that. It's been the most glitchiest, technical, challenging, and we're not completely there yet. Um, so we'll see how we go. It's good to see you've all got your email and checking it out and feedback so far is, has been good, but um, that's what that's about. So if you join the community before the end of January, it is dirt cheap. You get over $7,700 worth of training immediately when you join the community. So you'll get access to that members login area and all those boot camps if you join before January. If not, you only get the training that I've done that month. Uh, so like, final comment from Yvette, but because we coexist, it is easy to judge, but you don't have to dwell there. Negativity is poisoning. And that's the main sort of gist of what I'm sharing with you today is judgment is probably something we all do, but judgment breeds negativity, negative thoughts, negative words, negative actions. It's just not something you, you want to have in your life, I wouldn't have thought. Okay, so try not to judge others and try not to judge yourself. Come from a place of love, love on other people, give other people benefit of the doubt. You have no idea what's gone on in people's lives in their past to make up the person that they are today, potentially. So we have no right to judge anybody on anything. Just go for understanding. If there's misunderstandings, misalignments, the best thing you can do is communicate and say, look, hey, I don't really understand why you said this or what's going on here or whatever. Communication solves all problems. So when two people are not talking and there's a bit of judgment going on, that just breeds negativity. So the best thing you can do is to have conversations and try to resolve, um, you know, any kind of conflict and just try to understand somebody else's perspective. You can't expect to understand what somebody else is thinking acting, going on in their life. And sometimes when you just ask the question, hey, I'm not quite sure what's going in here. I may be overreacting, but blah, blah, blah. Can you just share with me your thoughts and have a conversation about it? So that's my thought for the day. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. I will be um, live with you here tomorrow. Remember, those of you that joined the branding course, you are group 20. This is the 20th time I've run that branding course and I'll be working with you guys for a month and video one went up earlier. So make sure you watch video one and I can't wait to be on a live Zoom call with you guys next week to sort out your brand. We've got a few live Q&A Zoom calls. And those of you in my coaching community, make sure you join me tomorrow or the next day in the coaching community for our live Q&A Zoom calls there. Lots going on, okay? So um, I will see you guys same time tomorrow. Have an awesome rest of the day. Bye.